But oftentimes as a therapist, you're the last person to have contact even just on a conversational standpoint before they compete. And you have to be so careful about what you say and what that athlete might hang on because of what came out of your mouth. Usually your forward leg is your quote dominant leg or motor leg. So most sprinters are asymmetrical. The stronger side is a bit longer than the non-dominant side. So a lot of people then, because that's a stronger side, will use that as the, the braking system on a deceleration or cutting. So <clears throat> if they're doing that and they're gonna cut to the right, no harm, no foul. But if they're using the left side to decelerate and they're gonna cut left, they're gonna have to do something really weird with the right to affect the change in direction. There is, <laughs> there is nothing secret out there. Here's what's the best. The simplest methods produce the most profound results. You don't believe me? What's the best way to recover? How about this? Sleep. How about this? Hydration. How about this? Nutrition. Are they expensive? No, they're free. They don't cost anything. But we constantly have to educate our athletes to them. Taking that further, you don't need to run maximally to get faster and have faster top end speed. Right? And I, that's that's another myth of the sport performance world. You know, every every football S and C coach thinks that to get fast, we need to run fast. You see that all the time. You don't. What what is running fast? And, and break down the determinants of actually how people run fast and work that. Right. What abilities do you need to actually run fast? You don't have to necessarily run fast. Because we're with the athletes six, maybe seven days a week, I think we have a, a little bit more intuitive map of where something should be. And so um, if you have someone who has a shoulder and a hip, and maybe their foot's acting up, if we know the shoulder's gonna drive it or something, and that's out of, out of sorts, I'm probably gonna go after that first. And, Perhaps that will help clear up everything else downstream. Right? So it's almost yes, you you have to be able to see everything at the same time. But some of it is knowing that hey, that shoulder might be that driver. If I can clear that shoulder up, I'm probably going to be okay with the hip, and then maybe I'll look at the ankle as well. And then do your work, go back and see. And so you are observing for multiple things um, on certain days. If discoordination and posture. The, kin the key kinematics are all going south. Why keep going?